So I got a question here. I've been practicing Asian squats and I can put my heels on the ground as long as I'm holding something weighty in front of me, like holding a stool out in front or a cat or my daughter. So basically I'm about 20 pounds off balance when I try to go into a deep squat. How do I fix this? I think the best way to address this is I'm going to call this how to squat for fat people, myself included. So say you're trying to get to this, right? You're here, you're trying to get into a deep squat, but in order, but every time you don't hold something, you fall back, right? And the only way that you're able to maintain that deep squat position, right, is if you have some sort of weight in front of you. Um, so the issue here is it's a number of things. One, it has to do with your posture when you're going into a squat. And one of the ways that you can kind of set the appropriate positioning for getting into the squat is, uh, I would say start at the bottom, right? So we're familiar with this seated posture, but part of it is ensuring that your shoulders are back and you're lined up, right? You don't want to be too far out. You don't want to be collapsed, but you want to be as parallel as possible. Now, one of the exercises that you may be familiar with is literally just jumping from this position into a squat position and then being able to get up. Now, I'm not saying do the jump squat, that's a little bit more advanced, but what you wanna do is you wanna transition into the squat position and at least hold that squat position for a small moment. So this way, when you're here, and you can use your hands or whatever, but ultimately you wanna go from here to here. And what I, from here, I'm on the balls of my feet right now. All right, so get on the balls of your feet, get down, get your heels down as much as possible, and then get up. But in that transition, for a moment, try to hold it. So you're here, balls your feet, boom. And then even if your heels are not touching the ground all the way, I would say get as close as you can. And part of being able to counterbalance uh, that moment, you can put your hands out. And part of being able to do air squats is you get into a neutral position, not too wide, not too narrow, but into a normal uh, neutral position, grip that ground. That's one of the key things you gotta remember. Whenever you're squatting, right, you don't wanna collapse under the weight of your body or the weight on your back. Feet neutral, drive your, uh, like grip the ground and push those knees out activate the arch of that foot, push that big toe down, and from here, and let me just kinda showcase what I'm doing with my feet so you get an appreciation and understanding. So from here is big toe down and activate those arches, and even in this case, the rest of my feet, fingers are kind of up, but I'm trying to get my pinky toe as far out as possible and just like literally just grip that carpet and ground and activate that arch. So essentially, now, the number of ways that you can do this also to get that arch active is you can start from a heel up position, spread those toes out, and then plant that heel down. Again, plant that uh, toe, plant the, the pinky, and then heel down, and then you can start gripping. So you wanna generate that torque uh, before you initiate the movement. So let me just, Set that over, all right. So, so start by gripping that ground, right? You got, uh, you, 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 you're about to initiate the movement. You got that torque. You wanna activate those hips. So part of it is ensuring that you don't start from here. This is bad posture. You wanna start from here, right? And so make sure your shoulders are back and down, just like how you were to do a, a bench press, right? Shoulders are back and down your hips are active, your glutes are engaged, your core is engaged. And then from here, I would suggest is just like how you would 
uh, do the bench press, you're trying to break that bar, you're trying to activate all your major movers in your body. So grip that ground, hips activated, core active, shoulders back and down, break that bar. And then from here, you can activate the movement. And as you get down over here, you can put your hands out and hold your uh, position. I would say start there. And if you are trying to accumulate time, then once you get to the bottom, don't relax, right? Try to uh, spend time there, but don't relax. So if you get to the bottom here, you're here, you're hanging out, you're hanging out. The key thing though, is to get comfortable in this position, right? Now, one of the biggest challenges of staying in that position is the gut, right? You and I both got one and that's okay. Part of being able to make the room and get into that position is you gotta open up those hips a little bit more, right? And so you get down, you can start at the neutral position. If you start wide, the reason I don't advise starting wide is because what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to generate the appropriate amount of torque. And so, and, and you know, you, one of the challenges that you have is that you've got the, uh, you've got the duck walk. And so, <laughs> which is part of why or rather the duck walk is a consequence of a weak core. What you want to do is your feet are out like this. You want to focus on bringing those feet in. And as soon as you bring those feet in, your body's generating torque. So you're, you're ready to explode. You're ready to bounce. And so but as soon as you're like this, like, and you kind of, even in the positioning of, if you were to sit down, you're like this, right? Everything's just shut off right and so what and as a means of counteracting that in your in your everyday normal life bring those feet in and when you're initiating the movement of the squat create that torque make sure before you initiate that movement your body's active right you've your 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 your, your ribs are down your hips active core's engaged shoulders are down and back hands out like as if you're about to bench press and then from here, activate that body and then initiate the movement and that, and then hold that there, all right? Now, once you find yourself comfortable in this position, then you can kind of open up those hips a little bit and just kind of like hang out a little bit. And if you want to help uh, get some, get a little bit more assistance, you can grab the leg of a table or something and just kind of hang out. Another alternative to this idea is grab your two big toes. So from here, it's like you're starting in uh, a bent over position. Grab your toes, right? And when I say grab your toes, grab it as such, right? So from here, when you go over, grab your toe like this. And then you're gonna force your big toe down and you're gonna use that leverage to uh, keep yourself up. You'll see, you'll notice, I don't know if the guys do this in Muay Thai, but a lot of the uh, advanced folks, when they're trying to get into position for Jiu Jitsu, uh, I've noticed that they also do a lot of this. So, hold on a second, let me just activate that here. So from here, take your fingers, grab those big toes, and you may even wanna spread your feet out a little bit. Grab your big toes, and then literally just get into the seated position and you can just literally force your hips down and you just kind of hang out here a little bit and and uh, accumulate your time in the squat position that way let me know if that helps and uh we'll take it from there i might just turn this into a vlog <laughs> So yeah, I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you found value in this showcase and tutorial, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more. I'll see you soon. Remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends, and I'll see you soon.